Hallo und herzlich willkommen zur ersten Episode von Danganronpa. There are two things you need to attend this school. Wir sind gerade beim Intro. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best of what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. Oh. Irgendwie habe ich das Gefühl, ich kenne das alles. Das ist irgendwie so Déjà-vu-Style. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school feud with the ultimate student was me. Ngh. Hä? What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to snog off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? I wasn't any classroom building before. What the heck is going on? Good. Finally, I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again. And then I was awake. I was just another dream. A dream inside a hopeless nightmare. Oh no, this isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invaded my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast dark cavern with the barest tint of light seeping in. Dress was built high all across the area. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in there till I wasted away and die? No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. I remembered all too well what had happened. Also, Ego saved me and he used up the last little bit of his strength to do it. So I can't get up now for myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First up, I was starting to look around. A way out for me. That's a rocket in a tank. Better not think much of what I'm seeing down here. Das ist vom ersten Survival Game, oder? Also vom Intro, das ist ein Desk. Das ist wahrscheinlich der eine, der hier down hier mit mir fiel. Ist das ein Airplane? Ist das etwas, das in der School Garbage Pit Der Helikopter. Rattle, rattle, it's locked. No matter how many times I push or pull or kicked it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of there anytime soon, I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless too. Next, I search for some water. How can we show which liquids I can drink and which ones are on our own bad idea? Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blooded in all sides. But that's not still enough reason to give up because, because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I will never give up. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was only way to perceive what little strength I had left of not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day I had to pass. And all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what? What fell from the sky wasn't a sign, not exactly. What the? A strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Something fell from above. What could have been? Haben die jetzt mir was zu essen runtergeworfen? Did the giant piece of trash just fell down here? I carefully stretched my hand out toward whatever it was that had tumbled down here with me. Just a second. Again, a piece of trash, root. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It smells awful. Kyoko? Indeed. You're lucky you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing so... here? Isn't it obvious I'm here to help you? I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you've got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick shape, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then faced hey. me again. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Thank you. I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way toward my stomach. That really hit the spot. Now I've got all the energy to keep going. <laughs> so you still haven't given up then. 
Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Okay, erstmal Bullshit, dass ich den Fall überlebt habe und dass sie den Fall überlebt hat. <laughs> But Kyoko, why did you come to rescue me? To pay a debt or not to atone? Atone? During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. I abandoned you. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However, but listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but there was a reason I had to survive, no matter the cost. Why did you have to survive? True. I will tell you, I will tell you everything. The reason I have to survive... In other words... Is so that I can do what I came to the school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason. So you have some reason for coming to Hope's Peak? That's right. At least I did once. Once? Hi. Until recently, I did forgotten what it was. You forgot, but that's... And no memory of what my purpose was. No memory? That's impossible. Amnesia? Then, is it really true you lost your memory? Do you remember, Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? The first thing you're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted when I woke up. I was trapped That's here. Right. I fainted too. And when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time I did forgotten. I couldn't remember why I did come to the school and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what make you forget all of that. Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because Indeed. I don't think I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only reason I can up with. Because of my purpose and my ability, somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plan. So the mastermind just stole them from you. However. And called so I mean somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school and my mas and the mastermind, which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if that you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? If I did that and we all worked as one, the mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always the chance that the mastermind is actually one of us. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big of a deal of it, it's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The mastermind is one of us. If she believes that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around here. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However. That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? Because among everyone, you were at least likely to be the mastermind. <laughs> That was just in institution, but I see your institution was right, though. Plot twist, ich bin doch der Mastermind. There is no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I, I understand. I, I should understand everything. My goal is to get out of here. Oh, okay, it's it's to stay here. Gah. It's just like the dream I had before, but why did this shit happen? Are you okay? Oh yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? <laughs> Even now, I still trust you, you know? It's just, I'm not used to rely on others. Correct. I know I've never asked you for the help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. Hmm. Lass mal raus. I better be talked to. Okay. Ich will raus. You said you had a reason for doing all that investigation on your own. So, how did that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So I think there's still a lot I don't remember. But at the very least, holy shit, ich bin übrigens ein richtiger Arschloch, dass ich das, dass ich sie umgebracht habe. Aber warum hat Alter Ego sie nicht gerettet? Hm? I was finally able to recall my purses and my ability. Bitte. You mentioned your ability. Bye. My ability, what everyone should have known me for. True ultimate lover. And the ultimate detective. Okay, ich wollte es gerade sagen. The ultimate detective. And the reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy 
there was someone I had to find in here in the school. Yeah, the mastermind. You had to find someone who? So... Well, I was the head. It was the headmaster of Hobbs Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. What? In other words, I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad is Hope Peak's headmaster? Then that explains when Alter Ego taught us he thought the headmaster was involved. I... I will find a way. I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter, no matter the cost. So Kyoko, what's I... going on? My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when we he said that, I feel strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. That makes yeah. sense, but listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear, so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said that... I only said what I felt based on what I've seen. I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess and the desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion was that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. You mean the headmaster, right? True. That was my assumption, yes. And to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I did found. But what was there because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is some kind of map. Indeed. This is a letter of the entire Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room along with Makuru's profile in that key. I verstehe mal nicht, wie angeblich Kyoko den Mord gemacht haben soll. The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for facility use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time and I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that it was red if that were true that room would likely hold more clues so I went Correct. to check and that's when I finally remembered. I remember what my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. However, but once I got there I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. So what was it like? The part of school I mean. It's hard to describe. All I can say is the moment I saw it I realized whatever is going on in the school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself. I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important and really omniscious. However, of course, once I got to the dorms, and there were no cameras or monitors, which is why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. It has to do with Mukuri Kosawa, doesn't it? Just to be f perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi, so then who did kill her? Anyway. What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuri Ikosawa was to get me killed. You get killed? Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared. And in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate, eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial, was it? The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? Right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discre discretion. In other words, the mastermind is adept about following the rules, and with that, the rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill the me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules. That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. There's one other thing I would. I did like to point out about the murder of Mukuri Kosawa. What's that? There was a point where Mukuru may not have been become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. I could have been I could have become the victim? You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean During the night? I can hear them, you know? The footsteps of the god of death. What? 
I can hear the god of death as he moves. The ability naturally draws me into cases, just like this. Anyway. Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms and I had a sudden scent of dread. I looked down the stairwell and I saw a white shadow across the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I follow it, I saw the shadow going into your room. Correct. And I ran into your room and I saw what happened. Happening. What was happening and it interfered immediately, of course. However. That wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them. But that lead to wherever the mask salient was, they ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised and the Jujutsu key wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind in an attempt to use the class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that whoever killed Mukuri is also the mastermind, right? I don't have conclusion evi conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's really bad if true. It means the mastermind can wh can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right. That is a contradiction. And it's not just Bokuro they needed the class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So what does that all mean? It means that the mastermind is the one who's being cornered. Hmm? Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Mokuru was the ultimate despair and that she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. Indeed. It's not... The thing about the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about what happened a year ago, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the tragedy who is ever responsible for that. They are the ultimate despair? That's that disciple group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they are, make no mistake, they are the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. What the frick? Dream Island rocket, okay. Five for life as achievement. Warum? The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together the killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now. Right now we have to get out of this horrible place, place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, right. wait. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Makura's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Of course I did. I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. And it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Hey Kyoko, can we use that key of yours to open the door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Yes, it opened. Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. We don't need to Finally, we are finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath or relief because the real fight had just begun. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up, like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. The ladder was imposingly long. I couldn't see where it ended. 
We climbed into darkness. The passage was dark and cramped. I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> Maybe talking will help keep my mind off it. I'm um, Sokyoko, there is something I wanted to ask you. You said you were the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when be being detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then is your family famous? Wow. Quite the opposite actually. Um, Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. But how come it's like your family tradition right so because we take pride in it right Indeed. and detectives is neither light nor shadow we represent neither justice nor evil this is how we can uncover the absolute truth we stand neutral in all things and to do that we have to stand separate from the rest of society which is why we've made a con conscious effort to conceal our existence a conscious effort it's, true. it's kind of an old-fashioned and I can say it's entirely rational, but it's our fam family creed and we do what we must to protect it because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Das meine ich die ganze Zeit. Ich habe alles immer neutral gehalten. So, und auch jetzt diesen letzten Fall. Ich habe es genau gemacht wie sie. Alles neutral halten, ohne Emotion, ohne irgendwas. Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when I was looking up, info about the school online I never saw anything about her because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of the family However, and yet I gave up some of that pride huh I... in order to enter Hope's Peak I had to reveal myself to the school I didn't I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigi detective would never do but the reason you gave up that pride the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak it was because of that how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you've been reuniting after all those years, right? You wouldn't have so much to talk about. Oh. There's nothing I want to talk to my father However. about. There's something I want to say to him, though. What? I... Die. No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What so... is it? I want to se severe all ties with him. Severe? The last time I saw him, I was still very young, so I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely challenging. He was in the line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future, However. but he had one interest in detective work, so he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather and then they had a huge argument and young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't make take me with him. If I had gone with him... I've n I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expressions. So I couldn't tell, I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But However. it's not true. But there's one thing, one thing I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However. But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as a little, the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this I... day. His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. That's why I have to find him and tell him we are no longer family. In order to settle the past, I, I order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt you forget about me years ago. But your family, to just cut him out of like that, 
Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say, say something like that. I didn't know how to respond, so instead I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Alles mega scammed, alles mega doof, meine Güte. <laughs> Looks like this is it. On the other side of the store, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We are back. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where I will come out. I unlock it earlier, so I should open it without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reach my right hand up and push it against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... Ah, here. Looks like we're back. I, I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't actually say we are safe and sound, but at least we are out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I've never gotten out of there without you. No, thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. Aber hier gibt's doch Kammer. Uh, yes. So now what do we have to do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out, I'm worried about you too. You helped me, so they might... Yes. You're worried? Yes, of course. So then. then let's just get a concrete answer, huh? In other words, let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's... However, if we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we are found out, and it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now. Don't worry, what you think is going to happen isn't. Because, because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before. What does it mean? So the mastermind stood expo exposed during the investigation into Mukuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was? Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, you can confirm it. And it will be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help our negotiations. I'm still a little no, super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, do we? Monokuma should be in the gym. Let's get going. Hey! Look who's back, Bridges. Well now, well now, well now, well now. Hey, Kyoko, I didn't mind so much, I but don't it. but Makoto's supposed to be dead. What is he doing here? That is exactly how I thought he would react. Are we really gonna be okay? You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? So, what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty part is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I'm gonna... So now I gotta punish you again. And this time I won't leave anything to a chance. Hyoko. Do whatever you feel you have to. What? But before you do, let me just say one thing. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? I lose? You, explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Well, you set up this latest class try yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. I was supposed to be chosen as the black end and then executed, right? Hey, what are you talking about? But then, but when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The result of the trail went all what you were expecting, because you never mentioned that in that position. One person would protect another like that. And in response to that unexpected development, you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the black and, and trying to execute him. 
You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must have been realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However, but then there was another unexpected development waiting for you, and an entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery, alter ego. You never imagined the possibility of being that could come to our aid even after you killed them. Now there's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mukuru. You did. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Black Ant is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? And that means I lose? You talk big game. You're saying the Black Ant is me and not Makoto? And you can prove this, right? No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. What is this, a comedy routine? To make such a bold claims without shred of evidence? I don't have it any right now, but with a little more time I guarantee I will find some. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? If Makoto really was the killer, he, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you love so to inspire. But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. <laughs> and that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? It's not you I'm trying to convince. If we had to ex Secured Makoto, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Despair can never kill hope. Hey. Of course you can say we are just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own... In a sense, you will be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair fair and square, then I suggest you take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? To do Mokoro's trial over again, only this time you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. Well, that would make a proper climax wouldn't you say a fair try one last showdown in other words this would be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuru's killer of the mastermind themselves but what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge they will probably just execute me without another word er muss es annehmen interesting very interesting indeed Barry what's wrong Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided I'd change things up a little. So, time for beer jokes. Now, what you've suggested might be possible. It would certainly make for one honey of a climax. Does that mean you accept? You guys? If we do things your way, that will be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it will cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. Will your hope win out, or will my despair claim victory? Let's have one final grizzly showdown. He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. But this is the long-awaited climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. So for this final phase of you will have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries, that's right, every last mystery that's pawning around the school. If you can do that, then that will be enough to clofame, clofy as a victory for you. That's what we've been trying to do all along. Okay, well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mukuro's death and solve the mysteries of the school, then you win. But if you can't do it, can't do all of that. We all face execution, right? I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? 
We are as excited as you are, I'm sure. When we uncover every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? Remember that for sure, so what? Hey. I just want to confirm that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement. <laughs> You don't have to be suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations, and having a trial for Makura is no exception to that, huh? Which would have to mean that whoever killed Mukuru. Hey, it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but. This is. Killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people taking a single step. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the Killing game began are those 16 students. Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why did he go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> now I'm, really angry. I'm done talking. I got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would you? Why so mad? He seems emotionally unstable. Leave me alone, get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna go. Are you really gonna let me go? Hmm. Uh, I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. It's super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. Come on, Lakoto, let's go. Okay. Monokuma's unstable Arthur seemed to cling to us as we walked away, and just like that, we were out of the gym. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final shot, and so do they? They had no choice but to accept. Huh? It's all because of that moment that the mastermind let their guard down, as, like I said. Yeah, this is... Yeah, <laughs> er darf halt keinen Executen, der nicht der Black End ist. So I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the Masterman said? They said they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Listen. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, what kind of that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. And yet somehow the mastermind was able to do it. But think of it another way, there must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. They had to show the world something no matter the cost. Us killing each other. They wanted to show the entire world. The mastermind had been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. So the mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show off to the world. But why? To prove a point, most likely. To prove a point. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about Hope, right? That's right. And for those who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair, the mastermind wants the world to see that to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal as the ultimate despair. What? You want us to prove that despair is better than hope? But that's ridiculous. True. You're right. It is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call them ul the ultimate despair would devise. That group of only purpose and motivation comes from despair, but 
Is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? I know hiring it must make you and yet the same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the, to the world. The mastermind ha has had to be more particular than is reasonable without their own regulations. If the mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't be in a game but a one-sided slaughter. At, the very least. At least that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. Hence why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. Indeed. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Yunka broke the rules, so she was punished, but in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial, following all their proper rules, to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, then made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't it's work. True. Yes, thanks to you. You know! <laughs> and due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV or the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion Indeed. to prove to the world that despair is better than hope. They had to defeat us in perfect in form. Words, it would only do the mastermind harm to have it shown that they did violate their own regulations. But all of that was hunch, right? And you were still able to get the mastermind to accept However, your challenge. Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance, because you believed in me another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the mastermind's thought and plans were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. In the end, though I couldn't prove any of it, I was just my reasoning, essentially I was making a bet. But it looked like I got it right, this time at least I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell if you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment you decided to go talk to him. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, would you say? <laughs> Plus, if I did show up my uneasy, that would have just made that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. However, anyway, we can't relate just yet. All I've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the mastermind, it will cost our lives. There's no option except okay. to win. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True. But now we know our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the mastermind. Work together with everyone. However, is that really possible? Huh? Anyway. anyway, right now we have to find go we go? the others. They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Okay, ich denke, an dieser Stelle machen wir einen Päuschen. Und wir sehen uns in der nächsten Episode. Bis dann. Ciao.